Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Entertainment News. In a few moments, I'm going to talk about some news from the world of the Strangers trilogy, which is soon to launch. But first, a few things for you to do for us. We are trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. We need your help, so please subscribe, hit the alert bell, like, comment, send super to become a member for $2.99 a month. But yes, The Strangers Chapter 2 sets release window, 4.5 hour super cut being discussed. I think that's the more interesting piece of news. I mean, who really cares when Chapter 2 comes out? With The Strangers Chapter 1 hitting United States theaters in the coming weeks, a release date has now been revealed for The Strangers Chapter 2. Um, still a little bit fuzzy about um, where this film fits in. Um, I remember the first film uh, being great. Um, then there was a second film, lesser known, I guess. And then supposedly this isn't a remake or a reboot or anything, but it's a continuation, but not... Yeah, um, per Variety, uh, Randy Harlan, who was directing all three of the new The Strangers horror movies, revealed that The Strangers Chapter 2 will likely be released in September or October this year. He added that the trilogy will con be concluded at the beginning of next year. Harlan said that the new The Strangers trilogy, if it had been a straight remake or a sequel, I wouldn't have done it at this point in my life. I have such respect for the original film, and I am somewhat intimidated by the quality of it. Simply doing a sequel or remake didn't appeal to me, but this was such an opportunity to have four and a half hours of a case study of victims of a violent crime and the perpetrators and what makes them tick and how it affects a person who goes through this. Um, it's a little bit interesting because, um, you know, this truly is a character study about... Um, trauma. Um, I'm not sure if Randy Harlan uh, is the best man for the job, although I do uh, like a lot of his earlier films and give him a bit more leeway than a lot of people do. Um, that very sounds like a more artistic angle that I'm sort of used to him uh, attempting. Um, however, um, I think uh, it is the hallmark of probably really good horror that is um, really gets deep down in personal and makes you feel the trauma. Uh, so that is a positive if he's able to pull that out. Um, but here's the interesting bit. A four and a half hour of a Strangers supercut is being discussed. The director also confirmed that a four and a half hour supercut of The Strangers Chapter 1, The Strangers Chapter 2, and The Strangers Chapter 3, go figure, <laughs> may be released after all three films have come out. Um, you have to get the um, studio to sign off on it. Um, uh, <laughs> Um, it's in our heads, he said. This is definitely what we want to do. We want to cut together the full arc. We know exactly how to do it. Then we'll create a movie and see what who are those diehard fans who will come to the movie theater for four and a half hours. Um, something like this, I doubt it. Probably see more than a couple of theaters, um, possibly as a sort of special event, but unlikely to get much of a release. Um, it's tailor-made for streaming if you do a four and a half hour supercut. I don't know if we need to have an intermission so people can go get some food and go to the bathroom, but I definitely want to have that event and see if people take four and a half hours of dread and fear and terror and despair. Um, I like the concept. Um, I remember um, back a number of years ago when, um, after they'd done the Lord of the Rings trilogy, Peter Jackson had talked about doing like a different cut, like a, um, like a book cut or a chronological cut, um, because sort of the way they they intercut was more like a traditional movie as opposed to the books uh, where they sort of followed one character group for a whole big section and then went back in time to the next group. Uh, so that would have been interesting. Um, if you're going to do a super cut of the Strangers trilogy, the upcoming trilogy, um, I, w I would hope that it's a bit more involved than just basically stringing all three films together. I would want... Um, additional scenes, maybe some deleted scenes brought back in. Um, I would like to feel probably possibly seamless or perhaps um, maybe feel like two big chapters with an intermission in the middle. Um, something to give it a reason for um, for existing as opposed to um, simply be having stitched the three films together. Um, I would definitely want some re-edit, some moving things around time-wise and sort of making the whole thing interesting. Um, but yeah, um, what do you think? I'm, I'm hopeful. Um, uh, the original was good. If he can do any sort of justice to that and keep it disturbing, um, that would be a plus. Um, otherwise, it will become nothing more than another uh, set of films to fill a lot of space on streaming. What do you think? Tell us in the comment section below. But until next time, keep it creepy.